Welcome back to Trumbull Valley and the Salt of the Earth. Uh, I spent my last episode deliberately letting these infestations fester for a while, but it's probably it probably would be smart for me to go and actually take care of them. And besides, I've got a community member who actually really, really wants to go fight some infestations. So let's switch to Sinjin. I'm going to clear out an infestation. If we want to survive, we can't let the zombies take over our town. All right, that works for me. Keep your head on straight. Now, let's go and have a look at his uh, in inventory here, because I think, yes, yeah, so we need some 9mm, we need some shotgun shells. Oh, it looks like we've already got the shotgun shells. Uh, we don't need a random melee weapon. And of course, because we are a firefighter, that means we fight with fire, right? That's, that's what we do. We need to bring as much fire as possible. Let's bring a bunch of fire. And I'll uh, probably need some heals. So yeah, so we've actually got a twofold mission. One is to clear out those infestations, like that one, for instance. Okay, so uh, the other thing we want to do is claim this outpost right here, because not only could we use an outpost in East Marshall, but also um, I want to celebrate the fact that we've got our seventh slot now, thanks to our, our, recent, uh, our recent recruit, Yavera the Hacker. I should actually, I should dress up my Red Talon characters. They're just way too boring right now. Let's see here. No, no, no. I've already got a firefighter. Ooh, the masks have not unlocked yet. That happens a little bit later. No, in a Um, Could go with a military helmet. And a keeper in her red talon gear. Could also go pilot hat. No. No. <laughs> That works for now, anyway. Sahin, let, let, let's go a little bit more dramatic with Sahin. Let's change him altogether. Give, let's give him a red talon bomber jacket. And should we just keep the mask on his face? I don't know. Actually, maybe he's the one who needs the pilot hat, though. Now, now, actually, you know, black and blue just don't really go that well together. I don't know. Well. Now let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. And let's let's not have you wear the the, the pilot hat. Let's have you wear the. No. Uh. Let. Yeah. Let's go simple like that. And actually, I wonder. Hmm. Do we have just another different tactical uniform she can wear? Yeah, that works. Though, actually, if she's going to wear that, might as well give her the boonie hat that matches perfectly, right? There we go. Now we're dressed like ridiculous people. That's okay. That's okay. Um, what are we doing? We're going down to fight some infestations. That's like, we got to cross the river anyway. We might as well start here, actually. And I'm pretty sure any infestation I kill is going to count. So I'm just going to do them in any order. Yeah, I'll head over here to this bridge. <gasps> A survivor in trouble, oh no! Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, fun, fun outfits coming uh, later on this month. But by the time you're watching this later on YouTube, I don't know, it might already even be that time. No, I think I'm going to release these over the next few days, so... Yeah, it's still not going to be time yet. They, I think they unlock on the 25th of October. So, definitely hoping to see a spike of players playing the game on Halloween, at least for just a minute, to unlock those things. Hey there, everybody. Ha-ha! Ha 
Whoa, get off me. Yeah, so fire propagates between zombies. So if you can keep getting them to bump into each other, you can actually spread the fire much further than you normally could. All right, next. <laughs> Ranathcourt asks, how good would the AI need to be in State of Decay 3 for me to uh, not be able to dismiss a survivor in need? It's not about the quality of the AI. It's it's about how invested you are in the story. And unfortunately, because I think that those kinds of missions, it's like the way that people used to just sort of like leave people tied to the uh, railroad tracks in um, in Red Dead Redemption, when you know that something is repeatable, then you know that it's not real. Uh, and that really undermines it. And so, you know, uh, that's, that's one of the things where it's like, you know, our game is really good at being replayable because all of its missions can just happen again and again and again or, and are just different enough to stay interesting. But they're not... But because you can tell that they're repeating... It undermines uh, their value as sort of like unique stories about unique individuals. And so it's really hard to invest in those characters. So I don't think it's really about the quality of the AI at all. In fact, some of the best, most useful AI for a video game is AI that is not, you know, very quote unquote smart, but it's just really good at doing its job in the story. I don't know what I... That's some weird parkour I just did. That's a lot of zombies. Okay, who's left? Somebody in here? What did I just... Oh, I just knocked one down. I didn't even see him. Get off. There we go. Cleared that infestation. Next. Red, of course, says, I'm talking about Black Mirror level AI for characters. Okay, fine. If, I, if I'm starting to have questions about their sentience... If I'm starting to wonder if maybe this this AI character is is literally alive, sure, uh, I I might feel bad about killing them. I cannot see any reason why anybody would make AI like that for a video game like this. That would just be pointlessly cruel. It's unnecessary to have AI that real. It doesn't do anything to help the game. All it would do is take meaningless deaths and make them murder. Like, wh why? Why would you ever do that? Oh! Left field zombies? Sheesh! Time to reload. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, because I'm having this fight outside the house, all these other zombies just don't count, which is great. Wait, did I just... I think I just dodge-canceled my throw. I didn't even realize I could do that. I guess it's because I'm firing an unsuppressed shotgun. <laughs> Maybe I should stop doing that. It's nice in a pinch, but uh, not the best strategic move. Oh, I've got a knock at my door. Let me go see what that is.
All right. Anyway, hi, I'm back. So that was my wife notifying me that she's actually about to run some errands with my daughter. And so if my younger children need anything from me, I will have to just jump off at a moment's notice. So you have been warned. So I gotta say, even though I complain about getting interrupted by the dialogue, I really like the dialogue in this game. <laughs> I'm not responsible for it, which is one reason why uh, I can compliment it without, you know, feeling weird. But yeah, Andy Collins really did a good job with a lot of these, uh, these radio conversations. There was, that was that, I guess. This guy just does not believe in suppressors, does he? Alright, so I think the last infestation was up somewhere else on the map. I just wanted to get away from most of those zombies before opening the map up, so... There it is. Yeah, it was up, up this way. Alright! Wandering Trader! I love those! How much, uh... Oh, we got a bunch of influence, so yeah, we... Usually I'll try to gather a bunch of stuff to, uh to barter before I go see a trader, but I got enough influence. I think I could just grab some of their stuff without bartering anything. Ah, here they are. Okay, look at this. They're all close. They don't see me yet. Oh, that... Does that guy see me? He certainly thought there was some reason to go after... <laughs> to jump out that window. Wait, what? How did that one get away? He was like, it looked like he was standing in the middle of it all. Ah! I am making such a racket. Sheesh. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Why am I acting like this? Uh, Brian Menard. Uh, no, I haven't had anyone report that uh, dodging is delayed when you have a... Um, when you're using the sort of the dodge-crouch combo. Mm. Meg. That one would definitely be worth reporting. Looks like we just... We've kind of let a bunch of problems creep into that particular control. So, yeah, sorry about that. Once we once we made the default uh, for new players, the uh, the split-up dodge and crouch, uh, it was, it's been really easy for us, because we're all using the split-up dodge and crouch back at... Uh, Back at the lab. It can be difficult to remember that we've got to actually try all of these things using a different control scheme. Salt kick is useless. Nope. Stop emoting. Oh, get off. Fine. Fine, you can have... That door's yours. I don't care anymore. You, 
can have the door. Just take it. Just take it. We needed that. No, we didn't. We willingly gave it up. We gave it up for Lent. I've got no idea what my uh, my thumbnail is, so I guess I'll just get a glamour shot of the car. A lot of mechanics, so. Hey, did, we've got a bloater around here. I feel like hitting a bloater might be a uh, what is a screamer too? Might make a good uh, thumbnail shot. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway. Hello, bloater gas. Oh! Oh, stop it! Hey! It looked like it was gone! No, 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 no. I'm not happy about that at all. That bloater gas looked like it was gone at 1.50.00. I hit bloater gas that was invisible. Hi, everybody. Oh, looks like you got another knock at my door. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go see what this is. Just a second. Hey, so, uh, turns out my kid needs me upstairs, which is fine. We were done with the video anyway, so, uh, let me just wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna come back and stream another game, uh, real soon, so, uh, stick around on the channel if you're watching me live, but if you're watching me later on YouTube, this is the end of the video. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting that button. Uh, the next video that I do with the Salt of the Earth is gonna be there, so go ahead and click that, and, uh, the rest of you, stick around. I'm just gonna be going AFK for a few minutes.